Hello, my fellow Lego brick landmines. I'm Mr. Church. Today I'm going to be building something a little different. I have done this before, but we're going to be putting a survival tent in our camp. And I'm going to be building at this campsite. Now I have this survival tent, which is this little pickup truck thing. And I want to make a campsite. Now this spot here, you cannot place your camp directly in. It's one of those places on the map which for no reason you can't place your camp. It's not an actual location. They just hate us so much and they don't want us to have fun. So I'm going to be building right up against it as close as I can. And I'm going to be putting this tent in it. Now to get the tent inside it, first you're going to need to uh, clear the area. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to run over here, get far away and place it over here. Now I'm going to get a friend and they're going to help me against their will. And I'm going to tell them that I'm going to, I'm going to give them something for the time, but I won't. Now, I'm going to activate my camp. Now, before I do anything further, I want to show you what I have built over here. I took the two campers. There's two different ones from the scoreboard, and I placed them right on the edge of the camp line. Now, as you can see, this is as close as you can get to this spot. So I literally have these hanging over the edge of the camp. But because of where I place them, we're not even going to be building down here, by the way. Like, this is all just not going to be there. By building on the edge, it's going to kind of uh, suggest that that shit is in our camp zone. And people that stumble across it will think that circle of things is our camp. So it'll give the illusion that half of that stuff is um, our camp, even though it's not. I'm going to be putting it right here on the edge in this little area. And it should go in pretty well. I'm going to have the camp activated. And I'm going to join my friend who I forced to put their tent in this spot. So when I load in, it's going to block my camp. But my camp is still active. Okay, that's the important part. So their tent is blocking my spot. And so I'm going to uh, turn around in a circle five times. And there's their tent right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have them move their tent now to uh, far enough away so that I can put mine down. And uh, once they move it, I can place mine down because there's no camp or tent here, uh, technically. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you remember where your stuff is in your camp so you're not overlapping stuff. And you might need to try a couple of times. Uh, so make sure you tell your friend to set aside their entire day since they don't have anything going on important anyway. I'm going to go into an, another server, and it's going to load the, the camp and the tent simultaneously, which means neither of them will trigger the blocked, uh, the blocked off error or whatever. And so now I have my fast travel tent and my camp, and it's in my camp, and it's so nice. Now, if you want to do this, you're not going to want to do it on a character that you play on very often. This is my mule, which is why it's fine for me to do this. But if you're if you're wanting to use your fast travel tent on this character, you you can. If you move it, you're going to have to have your, your friend do the whole thing again, and you might not get it in the exact spot. And if you build around the tent, that's going to make it even worse. Um, but now we have this pickup truck as part of our campsite. Let's get on with the rest of the build and enjoy our lives. So this is a little custom... Uh, kitchen area that I made and I sunk down these miniature city towers into um, this uh, thingy. So I use the drop merge which is I'm going to demonstrate right now what that is if you don't know. You place down a pressure plate and if you pick up the pressure plate and then place it again the button will stick down. When you place things on the button that bottom item will pop up into the items that are stacked on it. And what I'm trying to do is get this level so that the top of this is level with the bottom of that right there. Like on the bottom of that bowl of the rustic fountain. And so what I'll have is kind of like this round basin sticking out of this rotten counter. I'm going to redo that so it's a little bit lower. So something about like right here. That's, that's better. So now we have like this old looking counter. So what I'm going to do is for the the um, camper that doesn't have an awning, I'm going to treat it kind of like we're using it as storage. So this one is like in worse shape 
And so we're using it as a garage or like we're just piling stuff in it. So I also wanted the kitchen and the furniture that's in it to look rougher and more beat up. So that's why I made this this garbage thing. And if you want to put stuff on the counter, you may have to burn the um, the fountain because it has a huge hitbox. Even when it's burned, it's tough to build in. Um, obviously, since they um, are prefabs, they decided they didn't need doors. I don't really know why you would need a door personally. You know, why would you? You're just being a bitch at this point. So because they don't have doors, we have to kind of work around that. And for this one, I'm going to place in a door and I'm going to change it to the bungalow door, which will unattach it from the wall and it will sink it down. So it looks like it's touching the ground here and it kind of matches the shape. It's a little too big, but I'm going to put some items in front of it to kind of help disguise the scale of that. But having that next to that like that is going to make it look like it's all beat up. This thing isn't working. Not even the door is attached. And we're, I'm going to pile it up with junk in there so it looks like a garage or something. And it's going to be cute. I'm also going to lock it so random people don't open it because that'll look funky and whatnot. Um, also, because I'm building right on the edge of the build zone, some stuff is just not going to be placeable. It's going to be really sketchy. My original plan was to put stuff in the camper and then move the camper, but it doesn't let you move it over the line if you have stuff in it. Um, I thought it would, but I guess it doesn't. I'm going to put this wasteland debris in here. That's going to really help sell the fact that this camper is out of commission. And again, I don't know if I implicitly said it, but the... Um, wait, implicitly? I would have implicitly. I don't know if I explicitly said it or I implicitly said it. We don't know if the words I said were implicit or explicit, okay? I mean, they're usually explicit, but not in that way. Uh, these modular sofas have a really nice wooden edge to them that kind of blends it in. Like I said, I'm going to put junk in front of that door to match the scale. Now, I'm going to also say some things right now. Uh, fuck. Damn it. Shit. Because this part of the video gives me PTSD to watch. Now, if you really hate yourself as much as I do, I, which I guess you do since you're playing Fallout 76, this is going to be the best part of the build. What I decided to do was, for no reason, let's make a um, custom junky wooden stair using picnic tables that barely stack on top of each other, and then we'll have to sink it down into another object. Which we can then place it, which will shove it into the hill. And obviously our character can't walk up this because that would be, you know, actually functional and good. And so that's not something we're going to use. Um, and we're going to build on top of this, uh, the Thrasher Egg. And the thr Thrasher Egg is pretty cool. You can do a lot of cool merging stuff with it. I have a whole video that I made on it if you want to check that out and see what I'm saying. I'll demonstrate it a little bit in this video, but I go over it in more detail in this video. So I'm going to drop merge this down too, and what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to shove this whole chunk of stuff down into the ground so that we can kind of create the illusion of it being old wooden stairs. So the lore for this build, and I do apologize guys for having lore when I build a camp that clearly, I don't know guys, I, I'm, I... It's, I can't even begin to understand why that was an issue, but someone bitched about it, and so I just want to say I apologize if you are going to get triggered by me having some kind of story for my build. You know, it's not like all the other locations on the map have stories behind them, so that's fine. Now, here's a thing about the Thrasher Egg real quick before I tell my story, is when you break it, you can break it because it's like a shooting target. And the stuff that we have stacked on it then disappears, which allows us to uh, put stuff, unless it's the wooden foundation stairs, in that area. This These stairs suck. They don't, want, they don't like to play nice. But we'll just use these ones and place it down. Later in the video, I'm going to actually go back in time and do something else in this moment here. So if you're following along, don't build any of the things I'm doing. Don't do any of the stuff I'm doing. In fact, why are you even watching this video? You could be working on your future, your career, uh, you know, get schooling, trade schools are good. Um, then you can be in debt and uh, still not have a job. That's what I like to do. Anyway, um, so the lore. But, well, I can't 
because now I have to tell you that to make this special blueprint, you have to snap two pieces of this catwalk together. They have to be two pieces snapped together. It can't be one piece, it has to be two pieces. Then any item that gets its support from the ground next to it, you're gonna blueprint that item and the two catwalk pieces. And this is going to allow you in this uh, footage right now, I went back in time to before we did the stairs, because um, I'm gonna show you what I did for the top of the stairs. Um, and I used a different blueprint that uses a toolbox instead of a truck, but it's the exact same blueprint, okay? Just just get off my back about it, okay? Why would I bother having consistency when I can just do stuff in a more confusing manner in a tutorial? Uh, also, I want to get something cool to put in a display case, so I've gone to Blackwater Mine. I didn't die there. That's just a funny little emoji on the map to be funny. I didn't die when I walked through here. Because uh, I'm not on my mule, this is a perfectly good build that you can use to play with. You're going to run inside, and uh, when you load in, you're going to turn right. And in the bathroom here, for no reason, there's a, a cardboard box of shooting targets. Um, and this is normally a quest item. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your pit boy go to uh, daily quests, and go to target rich environment and hit the button on the bottom that says leave the quest and that will make sure that item doesn't become a quest item go back to your camp and now um, when you place it in your chessboard display um, it looks something like this which is pretty cool and now we can have a cardboard box in our camp as you can see I started filling that up with shit I'm gonna put this on the uh, I guess I'll put it on the couch and then sink it down a little bit so anyway, can I please tell you the story of the lore yet? Or I'm going to have to tell you more stuff about the build. Anyway, um, so after the war, someone came to this abandoned campsite and then repurposed it. So there's a couple of campers here that are more beat up than others. The one that's less beat up, they kind of cleaned up and are living in it. And the one that's more beat up and that's kind of a lost cause, they're just using it for dry storage, basically, like a garage or something. So I was trying to think of like what my grandfather's garage looked like before he decided to clean it out after 80 years. Um, and so an accumulation of years of junk piled up. And um, now I'm going to put a door on the good camper that we're going to be living in, the one with the awning. And to do that... I'm going to snap this down across that way. That gets the foundation lower in the ground. I'm going to snap the curtain door to this. I'm going to turn the wall into a normal wall, which will allow me to remove the wall. And now I'm going to take the flame trap uh, and burn that door, which will remove the collision and allow me to snap the camper back into the place. Um, and this is simple because... Uh, you know how they didn't want us to have a door on it because then we would be able to um like close the door and then be in live in live inside it i think that's just them being lazy as shit frankly why would you even do that why would you make a camper that doesn't have a door that's very confusing and don't worry guys it's level it's rank 85 so you can grind your way through the fucking scoreboard uh, just in time to not be able to fucking uh, build something that has a functioning purpose because there's no door on it. It's not It's not like a prefab, it's a husk. Anyway, when you repair that, you have a curtain door. That's so great. Yay! Now, I made this custom bed by sinking this bed down into the thrasher egg about this far. And again, the thrasher egg, when we break it, uh, disappears the items that are on top of it and allows us to repair it for free. So it's great for merging stuff together. So um, I'm going to put it where I want the bed to be. I'm going to break the egg, and then the bed won't be in the picture whatsoever. And I'm going to uh, place down these stash boxes around it and make kind of like this custom uh, bed design. And by putting these wooden chunkies in here, um, it kind of allows um, me to space it out better. But I'll be moving that one in the back because we don't really need it. Anyway, so the person that lives here is going to be in this one, and this one is going to be nicer and cleaner, and I'm going to try to make it look good inside it, and uh, then the other one is going to be piled up with trash, and I want that one to feel very storage-y, um, so I was trying to think about the stuff as I put them in there. Now you can repair the egg, and the bed will come back, and now we have this pretty cool bed with the wooden trim around it. I was just trying to kind of stick with the wood paneling theme that we have going on. 
And I'm gonna show you a cool thing that I got from Rachel Wolf. I'm gonna link the video where I found this uh, in, in the description if you wanna check it out. But essentially, this allows you to place items from the display cases into other items without needing to drop merge the entire thing, which allows you, that means you can place things after you have stuff built in. You don't have to like plan around it. Um, and for the most part, it really works well. For this one, I drop merged it uh, onto the corn. So the corn looks like it's inside that, but it's not. For this, I'm going to place it on a baseball, which in the last demonstration would have been the corn. And I'm going to pick up the baseball and then using the same exact merge we did before with the uh, pressure plate. I'm going to find the baseball somehow. It's going to be in here somewhere. Hello? And then you're going to pick it up and place it down over and over again. The weird thing about the baseball is it doesn't have any sound effects when you interact with it. So it's hard to tell if you're doing anything or not. You know what I mean? Like most stuff makes a sound when you pick it up and place it down. The baseball doesn't. Uh, but once you have it like that, you can grab the baseball from the top part because that thing you have in the display case doesn't actually have collision. And then as you can see, um, it's pretty forgiving and allows you to shove that display case down through the item. So what's actually going on here is I have the baseball and I'm p placing the baseball on the counter and everything else is just kind of merged through it. Um, but that allows you to place things down after the fact without having to think it through. Now let's take a look at the finished product. As I said before, I want the feeling of the camp to be up here. I want people to think that the green camper is part of the camp. So everything's kind of focused over in this zone, which is actually technically on the very edge of my camp boundary. But for the purposes of conceptualization, this is the center of the camp. And the green thing, the green camper is now part of my camp. These are facing that way. There's a big central campfire and it all works out great. Um, down here, back behind here, I put this thing of fences. I didn't include it in the tutorial because I thought maybe if you need to see someone placing down fences on the ground and you need a tutorial for that, how did you even find your way onto YouTube and type in words and stuff? Let's start with the basics, you know what I mean? Let's not jump to, to astrophysics levels of con... <laughs> anyway, over here is the... Um, the uh, fast travel truck and I can use my fast travel tent on other characters I can even change it to another one and use a different fast travel tent and it's not going to change this one until I physically move my tent on this character so I can keep this truck in my camp until I move my my tent basically which again like I said this is my mule character so I don't play with him so I don't go around and I don't need to place my tent ever uh, so it works out perfectly but again you're probably not going to want to do anything like this on your main character unless you want to not ever use your tent again, which is a huge uh, inconvenience. Over inside here, of course, like I said, I filled this up with a junk. We have the old uh, custom counter thing we made to kind of look beat up and run down. I didn't want it to look too clean. And I have that bicycle sitting on there. I, I hoped it looked like it was hung on the wall a little bit. I don't know if it does. I piled stuff up as far as the eye can see. Tried to uh, put in a bunch of old stuff and new stuff. No new stuff, only old stuff. Uh, tried to put in like things that you would see in like a garage or something. Um, and I hope that that makes sense. Um, again, that's locked. Put a couple more things in front of that door. Uh, why did I do that? You might be wondering. And that's a great question. Let's move on. Now, here is the one that we live in. Um, as you can see, uh, I put a little bit of a bramble there. Just in case uh, someone thinks that the, the uh, cement block is floating somewhat, which it isn't. And then inside the curtain, oh. But again, like, like I showed before, this is like hanging off the edge. And uh, like half of that isn't even in the camp zone, which is kind of cool. But also annoying, but it kind of uh, delineates the space and focuses the eyes that way. So someone coming across this will think that this is all part of the camp over here. And that's what I wanted. So you open the curtain door and you come inside and this is the clean one that we do live inside of. And I really like how it feels. I do like these campers a lot. I just wish they gave us a door. I have no clue why they didn't. Maybe they can give us doors retroactively for the campers. Guys, please uh, just give finish this, finish making this stuff. Um, and yeah, so we have the counter space and it's much cleaner than the other one. I have that corn 
that I put inside that shopping cart. The shopping cart's on display, and the corn is the baseball, basically, if you know what I mean. And I've got company tea, so I'm going to pick that up and let it rot in my inventory because I never drink it on this character. And uh, what else do we got? So I love these these sofas with the wood paneling, and I think I said it before when I put them in the other one, but they do kind of tie everything together with those wooden edges kind of fitting in with the wood of the thing of the camper. Yeah, that's the words. Let's have some of those. Um, and someone asked me one time if I scripted my video. Isn't that precious? Um, and then um, I made this special uh, entertainment center using the back of a aquarium TV and drop merging a radio into it. And then sometimes when I log in, it's moved. This is an orange globule that I don't know if I should be there. Usually I ask Vapid Valentine if I should do something. And if she says no, then I don't do it. And I was going to ask her about that globule hanging there next to the tire. Is that too much stuff hanging over there? But um, I didn't ask her. She was too busy. And when I say she was too busy, I just forgot to ask her. She would have told me. But um, let's. I, I can do stuff myself. I can make my own camps. I don't need help from someone just because they're one of the best builders in the game. I can do. I can make my own stuff. You know who needs it? Over here is a. Uh, um. What what is it? Oh yeah. I I put the um. One of those like pillows that was on a display case here in the baseball under it popped up to the ceiling so that's where that is so this is all held up by the baseball that's on the ceiling so i can't move that now but at least there's a pillow in there that's good it's probably on the wrong end of the the tent but yeah we have the tent as part of the campsite i have the stairs going down that we made using the uh the merged tables the picnic tables and boy was that a lot of fun guys boy was that a lot of fun but because of how I spaced things out and how I faced everything towards the green camper, it kind of, if someone was were to like stumble across this, they would think this right here is the camp, you know? And it even though I built right up on the edge of my camp and that's not even part of my camp, it looks like it is. And that's basically what I wanted to achieve. Um, it's kind of a creative use of space and uh, creative use of placing my stuff in a certain way that would um, suggest to people. And this is one of the ways that you can use existing locations and existing structures uh, to incorporate into your build, even if you're not able to build directly at those existing locations. So kind of, I don't know, guys. Let's, listen, I, eh, I had a lot of fun building this, though. I'm really really loving these campers they're one of the coolest prefabs they've given us again please give us a door for them please guys please to open and close and stuff you know those things please but they're actually very awesome i love the rustiness of them and i would love it if they gave us more stuff like that i want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons and channel members for your support i really do appreciate it if you guys are interested in joining me on Patreon, the link for that is in the description. Uh, make sure you join the Discord, and I also stream on Twitch, and those links are also in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.